Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan. Welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith. Let's make some scrolling dogs. These are fabulous. They're an amazing tool to have in your toolbox as long as you can find them. And the second you can't find them, they become useless. Um, I had a really lovely pair that I made at college and I tried to replicate those, uh, but they turned out like utter poo. So I have made myself um, a different, slightly, a slightly different style set. I'm really pleased with them, they came out really well. So enjoy the video and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, to make these bending forks, I've got uh, two pieces of 16 mil round, 75 mil long. Uh, they're five eighths, uh, five eighths round by three inches long-ish, roundabouts. And then I've got this piece of fork truck tine that um, was already drawn out. Uh, and it is 20 millimeter square or three quarter inch square uh, by uh, 400 mil long or 16 inches long. So the next job is I'm going to take this down so it's 16 by 20, and then I'm going to take which would be five eighths by three quarters, and then where the handle is, I'm going to then take that down to 16 by 16 and see how that looks, uh, and then take the corners off that. And um, once that's all done. I'm then going to take these two pieces, I'm going to punch two 16mm holes in, drop them in, get the TIG welder started up, TIG weld around the top and uh, make them all look nice and dapper. So I'm going to get on with that we'll see you so in a minute. So I've just put two centre dot marks along there, 180mm from that end or 7 inches. I'm going to forge that down to 16 by 20 Place the googly eyes on Kitty, um, and she was suffering from some quite severe cataracts, if you remember from the last episode, but she's feeling much better now after her major eye transplant surgery. Now, I've been doing this for about a year or so now, and um, I've changed these eyes about four times. But along the way, I've been encouraging you guys to take pictures of bits of kit in your workshop with googly eyes on as well, and you have been. Uh, and you've been sharing them with me, just like the hammer for the hammered monkey forge here. Those googly eyes look great on your little giant there, and also crafty old wrench. A really great example of some googly eyes on a uh, homemade anvil made out of a piece of railway track. Now, if you'd like to take some pictures and send them to me, so I will show them on another episode of uh, Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith, it's really simple. There's two ways to do it. You can either send me an email with an image of the googly eyes that you have stuck on a bit of kit in your workshop. Or alternatively, you can send them to me via Instagram, and that's probably the easiest way to do it. Now, stick, uh, get some googly eyes, you can get them from a craft shop, you can get them off the internet. If you're really desperate, you can get them off of me. I I will send some to you um, and basically what you do is you get some super glue you stick them on a bit of kit you take a picture of it you put the hashtag googly eyes in the forge and then if you put at ia studios underscore dan i will receive a notification that you've put that image on that hashtag 
uh, and then every time they come up, every now and then, I will give them a shout out in a video like I did with the other guys. So, uh, or just go over to my website www.ihstudios.co.uk and I will be able to uh, receive an email via a contact box there. So that would be brilliant. I look forward to seeing all your excellent, lovely, googly-eyed pieces of kit. Uh, right, on with the rest of the video. Complete change of plans. Uh, I went about 3 8 10 mil wide by 16 by 5 8 uh, and um, I've also extended the length of this a little bit because it just didn't feel long enough. Uh, so the next job to do is to punch two holes in here to receive this 5.8 uh, 5.8? 5 8 uh, round bar or 16 mil round bar. So I'm going to do that now. So I've just straightened these up so that they're all square and even and uh, just to make sure all the welds are all held in and nicely in line. Uh, everything looks pretty good. Yeah. Cool, right, I'm going to let that cool down and then I'm going to put the hook on the other end.
I'd just like to give a quick shout out to some of my Patreons, and you guys, Patreons, you're absolutely amazing, and thank you for supporting the channel. In fact, anyone who supports the channel in any way, shape, or form is amazing. That involves buying stuff directly off me, uh, subscribing, liking, commenting, good or bad, uh, and especially my Patreons who pledge money to help and support the channel, and it really, genuinely, it really does. Now, um, I'm going to give some shout outs. The first one is to a William U. Bolin. I hope I got your surname right, uh, dude. Uh, thank you for your pledge. And also, Kevin Long. Thank you for your pledge, dude. It's amazing. And also to a Melissa Norman. Thank you for your pledge as well, Melissa. Now, there's something a little bit extra special about Melissa. Well, perhaps not Melissa, maybe her son. Now, Melissa's son, Cyrus Norman. Hey Cyrus, how are you doing, dude? Uh, he's recently done his first blacksmithing uh, class, and here's a picture of him doing it. Well done, dude, I saw a picture of the hooks you made, and they were absolutely fabulous. So I've got some goodies, extra goodies, coming out to you uh, as well, because um, me and your mum have been talking, and you're a super fan, apparently. I don't think I deserve a super fan, but it's amazing. That, uh, that um, I have people out there who think that uh, who enjoy the channel so much as you do. So um, on that note, that is the end of the video. Thank you for joining me. If you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you are a subscriber, remember there's a little bell for notifications next to the subscribe button that will tell you as soon as I make videos. And I make videos as much as humanly possible, and I try to get them out to you as soon as possible. So uh, that is everything. I'll leave a video up here to me making some rivets. I will chuck a video down here for something else. This is my Patreon. Go and check it out. It's really cool. There's extra stuff on there. And also a subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, go check out my website as well. Link in the description.